Books often begin for me in very simple ways. Sometimes it is just a single picture in which I suspect is hidden a universe of meaning. When I was about 20 I was poking through some colonial paintings at the back of a Hobart museum with an art curator when we came upon a simple watercolour. I thought it was very beautiful and inexplicably moving. It showed a small Aboriginal girl in a beautiful red silk dress bound with a black velvet band. It's Mathinna, the curator told me. And he told me her story of an Aboriginal child adopted in the 1830s by the famous Arctic explorer Sir John Franklin and his wife Lady Jane. It was a strange, and for me, immensely moving tale. And having told me it, the curator detached the old oval frame from the painting. Look at this, he said. Cut off at the ankles by the frame were two dark, shoeless feet. Embarrassed by her not wearing shoes, the Franklins had cut her off at the ankles with the picture frame. That picture remained with me. More than anything else, those two bare feet cut off by the frame haunted me. I'd think about that pretty little girl who wouldn't wear shoes. Years later, I spent some time in the Kimberley bush with tribal Aborigines, Bunaba people, who told me how shoes blinded you from the earth and life, how everything rose up through your feet. And I thought there was a story in those hidden feet and in that picture, a beautiful story. But it would take me half a lifetime before I found the courage to write it.